It's a sad reason to be back, mm. but I guess also we need to be celebrating uh, this man. Um, uh, maybe let me just start with your own memories, uh, your first encounter with, encounter with Tata Madiba. Uh, what was that like and what do you remember most about him? Well, uh, I remember Tata as, uh, as a mentor. Uh, not even from what he said, which on its own was inspiring, but just the way he lived his life. If you have a boss that works around the clock, as a young deputy minister then, you just knew that serving the people of South Africa, it's something that you have got to think about and do around the clock. Mm -hmm. Because Tata embodied Batubili, you know, serving the people. So that is one of the lessons that I've act I actually learned uh, uh, from him. And of course, the fact that that was just not only having an impact on mm. us that worked with him. He is actually a global mentor. Mm. People don't have to know and meet Nelson Mandela to embody, mm. to, I mean, to, uh, to adopt his principles. Mm. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the international statesman because, uh, you know, he came out of jail and he started traveling almost immediately, didn't he? And he had to sort of re-engage with the international community that had been waiting for him to come out. Why do you think he was so successful in the international arena that we've got a record number of heads of state coming to bid him farewell? Because I think he represents... A or, or rather he can actually inspire people mm. to do good. So a lot of people are drawn into him, into his life, into his deeds, because it can inspire them to be better people. Mm. Uh, last week, I mean, a uh, few days ago, uh, after the, the, the news uh, uh, broke, uh, I was in Harlem. Uh, the New York uh, mayor-elect, de Blasio, made a very interesting statement mm. that leaders and of our time who are progressive can never say they have not been inspired by either words and deed of Madiba mm. to become who they are mm. when they become uh, truly uh, leaders of stature. That is a lot uh, to, to be mm. as, uh, as a person. And the fact that uh, uh, Utata is a global icon is something that is actually recognized Globally, because in 2009, the United mm. Nations actually mm. adopted a resolution approving Mandela Day. Now, wow. for something like that to be adopted, to be embraced mm. by many countries around the world, it actually means mm. that your, your, state, your icon status is actually formalized mm. Uh, mm. through a resolution which brings mm. countries that sometimes will not agree about a number of things, but this is one of the mm. critical things that uh, they've been able to agree upon. And, and I suppose one of the things that he was about was, was truth, fairness and justice, yes. and that uh, in conflicts, uh, he would speak to everyone and anyone mm -hmm. as equals, even when it wasn't, wasn't popular. We'll be seeing enemies sitting together today. Um, how was he able to navigate this very difficult uh, dip diplomatic field? Because I think that he had nothing to lose by mm. speaking the truth. He was able to get through to people because in whatever way mm. he was able to display that he did not have any self-interest. All he wanted was to make the world better. And I think in that way, people were able to, to embrace whatever he, he had to say and even to swallow mm. a, the bitter pill. I mean, we saw it here at home. I think one, one example is the issue of the Springbok. If you remember, mm. a, a colleague uh, who was a member of parliament at the time was reminding me, who was in the sports committee, mm. that they actually did not want that name to survive. Mm. But Tutata called them and says, just tell me, what do you have to lose by ensuring that you allow the people who are feeling that because mm. of our victory they have lost something, mm. to keep something that is dear to them, and through that help them to come on our side and to embrace mm. the new South Africa. And of course now the rest is history. Mm. But that could not have been the most popular thing for a president who came from the left to do and to say. But because he had eyes on the ball, recon reconciliation mm. was important, he was able to speak to his own comrades to actually accept mm. that there are just some things that we may not particularly like. But in the overall scheme of things, what is keeping a name uh, by a sports club mm. uh, compared to having to mm. embrace and, and, and promote uh, reconciliation.
All right, we're going to continue chatting uh, because there's so much to unpack. But what I'd like us to do now is...